Well, hello. This is take three. It's a very wet day outside. Wet and, you know, grey. So look what I've got myself here now. I've got some colours. Look at that beautiful sycamore. <clears throat> and I've got a pile of paper for my daughter, Hope. Um, for Christmas, she saved up all the wrappers of her who gives a crap toilet paper for me to use if I want to for a collage. So, lots of options for colour here. And I was avoiding showing you the messy side of the room, but I'm getting a crick in my neck from trying to lean over. So, we're getting to see the full shebang today. What have I done to myself? Anyway, um... So it's been a while now, but I've been I've been under the weather. Still feeling a bit shook, to be honest. But I wanted to do something. You know, this is my third video as well. I'm I'm almost exhausted. I've almost exhausted myself. But you know what I was thinking? If you want to pick up some colours yourself in your house, you could kind of go along with me and do something kind of easy ozy. If you fancy it, that's what I'm going to do. Something easy ozy. I've squirted out this blue paint already it says ultramarine on it doesn't look ultramarine to me although I suppose it kind of does actually anyway I put out so much that I've, I've got a second sheet ready now I'm going to do a couple of blue things from that one squirt I don't know what's going to happen with it really but I just thought I'd spread it out anyway maybe one painting could be mostly blue and I could let that dry then Right, so I'm doing the one here, mostly blue, and I could let that dry and possibly use some of the pens over it or something. We'll see. This is a no plan whatsoever kind of a painting, which I recommend, guys. <coughs> it's quite quite nice to do that for yourself. Free rain completely. The thing that this um this kind of illness has um made me realise is that um while I thought I wasn't doing very much, I was doing a lot actually. I thought I wasn't doing very much, you see. But I'd have been involved in things every second of every day almost you know so it's been really nice stopping you hear about it a lot don't you like being forced forced to stop and like I would say that my life is definitely not as stressful as a lot of folk but still I was switched on a lot of the time you know so here I am now and um, few weeks after switching off fully really and uh, here we are it's kind of fun though you know um well this is fun but what's not fun but um it's kind of a relief I suppose to know that I can I can stop and world doesn't come to an end like we just postpone things a bit and like many folk might say having a little break from things makes you consider what's important and, and the things that I want to do more of and the things that I could omit from my life that kind of way So there's been a bit of taking stock. I think I'm going to like um, put some water on there. You see, I don't have the kitchen paper in the way I feel at the moment, unless I absolutely have to get up. I choose not to. You see, the old energy levels are fairly low. So instead of getting the kitchen paper there, I thought I'd lift off some of the fluidity with um, the other bit of paper. All right. It might be that some sort of thing might happen from one of these. 
And I kind of feel like putting something really fluid on the bottom there. And if I've got some ink close to hand, I don't think I have ink in this bag. What's that now? Ultramarine, you see? How is that the same as that? I suppose it's close enough. Anyway. Um, I'm just going to get a... Sorry, you can't really see, can you? Oh, dearie. What am I going to get? Ink. Sheep, but you're going to be sick. I think this bag has got some ink in it. Let's just see. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's this high flow acrylic. Let me see now with my glasses on. Pale or blue? Is it high flow? Fluid acrylic. Let's just try it, sure. I might try it from a higher vantage point. What if it goes that way? I wonder would it flow that way if I put a bit more water up here? Like that tallow blue. There's a lot of pigment in it, isn't there? I mean, there's often this kind of idea that you ruin it and you like, you know, the way. That kind of idea pops into my head sometimes. And I don't really have much truck with the best of time because I just think I don't want to stop playing because something looks nice-ish or even if it looks amazing altogether. Sometimes I just think, look, it doesn't matter all that much. You know, we're not here that long. We might as well have fun in our own skin first and make the thing, make the thing be first a uh, response to our own deserves you know i do want to find the kitchen paper though because i like being able to wipe away things oh look there's a bit there's a bit here i think i have some fresh kitchen paper funnily enough in the kitchen so if i'm if i'm needing more i can always go and get some I kind of like the two blues together, the warm blue and the cool blue. Makes me feel a little bit like a cliff face and like some sort of vegetation or housing or something up there with the darks. I don't want it to feel the same as anything I've seen before. This is the thing with them. Um, creative play, I find. I don't want anything, anything at all to be like it, I suppose, or, or to kind of direct it, you know, the idea that it might be something that I can remember in my memory, seeing someone else do or that kind of thing. I think that's a good idea to steer clear of as well. Just printed that on there.
All right. What I want to do there now, right, is um, to get something, maybe even like this. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not that bright. To get a, a gold or yellow gold color. This one. And I could really wait until this blessed thing is dry, but I don't want to wait. So I feel like there's something like a bit of gold, gold and yellow will let this blue sing out. Mm, I'm annoyed about this thing. It's over here, I'm doing it so. I'll just let you up there and every so often I'll bring a picture up to, to show you. I don't know if it's the if it's the yellow I'm wanting. It's got a slight fluorescence to it. Really, I think what I want is more of a maybe an orange yellow. Maybe an orange, orange, copper, gold leaf. But we can use this for a start anyway. What about... Well, let us know what I got here. This is more of a fluorescent orange colour. I want to let myself go with the shapes that organically was made when I let the paint run. The shapes that were made, I should say. Yeah. The thing is that there's this one as well, look. So, I mixed it in with the paint. I didn't want to do that. It seemed important to keep everything really clean. I think I'm trying hard to make something nice. It's a terrible thing. I let myself run with it for a while longer, give myself the benefit of the doubt, just in case there is something in me that's really wanting to see what these colours are going to do beside each other. And that that's the driving force rather than trying to make a piece of work that's going to delight or something. That was me hitting the microphone, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting a bit bored of it now. I feel like I'm going to turn off the video and just really play because I think maybe some part of me makes it feels like I have to do something important when the video is on maybe. I'm not sure if that's true because I've not felt any sort of pressure from any of you. But maybe from myself I've got this idea that I need to do something important if I'm recording it. And as I say often, I don't think the creative act itself is a very important thing, actually. Maybe I don't say it often, but I mean that. And here are some trees.
if I want to continue with the brightness of the paint there, I think it needs to be paint rather than ink. Or maybe paint, or maybe ink rather than pen. Because I don't think that pen is going to work. Let's try it. Is it going to work over this guy here? I think it does a little bit. Of course, I've also got these acrylic pens on the piano behind me. That might make the um, that might cover the blue paint easily too.
This is the last of my alcoholic Okay, I leave that alone now because I didn't know what to do with it. This feels a bit like um, a bit like sea here, stormy sea, and birds flying there. Lizzie and I both gave a long exhale there. The funny thing is to try and turn off the kind of wanting to do something. I seem to be the whole time talking about this, don't I? I'm trying to turn off the idea of wanting, of wanting to do something good, like, and just maybe do what I feel like doing myself and the kind of trying to distinguish between them what's me wanting to make a good job of it against me wanting to just have a good time I was talking to a friend recently about a book he's writing and <clears throat> he was saying that um, the first draft is for himself writing the story he would like to read and after that he make make it work for others. First he wants to he's really enjoying himself writing it. I'm just gonna do something I did I think before Christmas and pick up whatever colour is here and use it. Whatever the first colour is that comes to me. maybe only use it once. That's my headache is kind of going now thankfully. It's good. It's a little bit clearer in my head.
I'm just going to say goodbye because I think it's getting a bit too dark. And also, um, this is feeling like a very kind of selfish video just for myself, you know. Not much going on, is there? So, uh, if I ever do post it, thank you for joining me. It's been good to have your company there. So I see you hopefully soon when I've got my energy back again. Bye.